Today I'm going to show you what a C-section looks like, but don't worry, there's no blood, no bodily fluids, and that's because it's all made for my kids' Play-Doh. It's going to be getting really cool here, so let's jump into it. But first, if you are new here, welcome to Diana in the Pink. My name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant specialized in women's health and gynecology. On this channel, we talk about pregnancy, women's health, and just being a mom. So if you like that kind of videos, make sure to subscribe. And also let me know in the video description if you are planning to have a C-section soon or if you are just here to learn. But now, let's jump right into it. A C section is a surgical procedure to deliver a baby through an incision in the abdomen and uterus. It can be planned or performed as an emergency. A C-section typically takes about 45 to 60 minutes and the baby is usually delivered within the first 10 minutes. The remaining time is spent on closing all of the layers. C-sections are extremely common, accounting for approximately one in three births in the United States. Personally, I've had three. The first incision is made in the skin. A horizontal incision, usually about four to six inches long, is made just above the pubic hairline. This incision follows the natural lines of the skin and minimizes scarring. The next layer is the subcutaneous fat. The thickness of this layer varies depending on the patient's body composition. This layer has minimal blood vessels, so bleeding here is limited. The next layer is the fascia. The fascia is a strong connective tissue covering the abdominal muscles. Surgeons often use a sharp blade to cut through this tough layer. The fascia is critical for abdominal support and movement. Or after the procedure, this layer is carefully sutured together since it provides stability to the abdomen. Next layer is the abdominal muscles or rectus abdominis. The rectus muscles are not cut. Instead, they are separated along the natural midline called the linea alba. Surgeons use blunt dissection to spread apart these muscles to avoid any unnecessary trauma. The muscle separation is temporary and the muscles will naturally come back together after the surgery. Occasionally, women may experience a condition called diastasis recti, postpartum, where their muscles remain separated. Your surgeon will then use a bladder blade to help retract the bladder downward, helping to give them a clearer view and also to protect the bladder from injury. From here, it may look like we've reached the uterus, but there is actually one more layer, a thin see-through layer that covers the external surfaces of most abdominal organs called the peritoneum. Finally, we've reached the uterus, the home to your baby for the last nine months. A small horizontal incision is made on the lower segment of the uterus. This is called a low transverse uterine incision. And this is the preferred incision because it heals well, it minimizes bleeding, and it reduces the risk of uterine rupture in future pregnancies. The uterus is very muscular enabling it to expand during pregnancy and then contract post-delivery. Once the uterus is opened, the amniotic sac, which is a thin membrane that holds the baby in the amniotic fluid, is ruptured or cut. Once the sac is opened, the amniotic fluid spills out and suction is often used to clear it. After the sac is opened, the baby is carefully delivered. The surgeon may use pressure on the top of the uterus to help guide the baby out. The umbilical cord is then clamped and cut. Then the baby is handed to the pediatric team for evaluation while the surgeon removes the placenta and then closes as the layers. So I hope you liked this video. If you did and you want to know more about pregnancy or about C-sections, make sure to subscribe to Diana in the Pink. I'm going to link to my pregnancy playlist. It is where I walk you through pregnancy week by week. Each video is a week of your pregnancy. It's very detailed, gives you all the information that you need. So click on that right here and I will see you over there.